I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, here we have three lithium ion batteries. These are actually uh, LiPo cells. These used to power Sennheiser headsets. Uh, these um, came to me from a friend. Um, he gave, he gave them to me after they replaced the uh, the uh, batteries in their headsets because the headsets were not staying charged very long. They didn't last very long anymore. So I was like, yeah, I'll take them just for the heck of it. Well, I want you guys to have a look at these three batteries and see if you notice anything different about one of them. Notice how this one is really swollen up. So this one here is is flat this one here is flat however this one looks almost like a little balloon no I didn't short this thing out uh, no I didn't do anything crazy with it um, so it wasn't any of that when I got that when I got these batteries they were all flat just like the other two here this one did not used to be like this. Roughly in a span of a month, I mean, these were just sitting on my shelf up here. In a span of a month, this one swole, has, has swollen up to look like this. Now, these cells do have a protection circuit on them. I do see a little circuit on the front. And right there are the actual battery terminals. So I measured the voltage of these two. These two measure about 3.6 volts. So roughly, they're, they they will need to be recharged. Uh, they do have some, depending on what kind of device or what the device considers to be the shutoff voltage. These could be considered dead or running low, and they need to be recharged. Um, this one, however, at least when I measured it today showed exactly zero volts which means one of two things either the battery voltage has got down to zero or the protection circuit has locked out voltage from the cell so I'm going to show you for example so I'll measure this one See, we're at 3.7, which is the nominal voltage. However, some devices consider that dead voltage. It's like some of my cameras. I find it very annoying. Really, the uh, the uh, the dead voltage of a lithium ion cell is right around 3 volts, depending on the on the cell itself. Some are a little lower, some are a little higher. This one has 3.65 on it. However, this one has, it had like 0.5 on it. So I suspect, I mean, obviously from the way this battery looks, there's definitely something wrong with it. Um, and this is something that can happen with LiPo cells. And really all lithium ion batteries, but I think lipo cells are more susceptible than any of the others because of their pouch design. They instead of having a hard case like an 18650, like for example this one, these lipo cells they're they're encased in this soft material that can get bent, among other things. And what I suspect may have happened, well, I was going to say is. Because of this, these kinds of batteries, I think, are more susceptible to damage, internal damage, for example, or external. Um, I suspect what may have happened is this cell may have developed an internal short, not a very quick one, just a slow one. Not enough to where the battery would self-destruct, but enough to where it would drain itself down. I'd say this is this is probably a more common 
and failure on these. Now, sometimes, sometimes, I'd say it's pretty rare, but sometimes these things can short out and actually, um, I mean, have a, have a short inside to a point where the battery heats up and in some cases could thermally run away and explode with fire. Not a good thing. Um, I've been watching this thing for the past several weeks. I've been watching it get a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger. And I checked the voltage of it pretty recently, and it was uh, right about zero. So I mean, it's it's it feels like a it feels like a blown up balloon. Like it's it's hard to touch. And um, yeah, I just want to show you this on a video. Now, actually, you know, I mentioned that there was three of these things. I actually, had a fourth one. And it did this a while back, and it's funny. I took it out in the backyard and, and hit it with a shovel to see if it was going to uh, self-destruct. No, no, it didn't. It didn't do anything crazy at all, actually. <laughs> but um, I'm thinking it was probably doing the same thing as this one. The, the voltage was probably at zero, so uh, once it was like beat up with a shovel or whatever, it wouldn't do anything real crazy. So I think what's happened, more or less... <laughs> Is again, um, this thing shorted out internally, a slow short, enough to drain it down to zero. And, um, and I think in the process it may have gassed up a little bit, and that's why it's swollen up like this. I was going to see if I can get this tape off of here. If I can get the tape off, um, I'll be able to bypass the uh, protection circuit and measure the, the cell voltage. Just in case the uh, just in case the protection circuit is locking it out for some reason. Okay, so I found the um, found the end of the tape. I'm gonna peel this off here because I'm just curious to see if this cell is actually um, discharged. I'm pretty certain it's probably dead. We're about to find out. Yep, it's sitting at uh, at 0.6, and I'll use I'll use one of the good ones as a reference. Because sometimes this little meter here likes to act up. Every once in a while, it'll it'll read weird numbers. And it's it's working this time. So as I suspected, this battery has self discharged. It's only got 0.5 volts on it. It's got it's got close to 0.1. So yeah, there you go. That's more that's more likely what's happened with this battery is internally it uh, shorted out. Not a not a hard short, but enough to drain it down. And in the process, it gassed up like this, so. And I do actually have some other LiPo batteries. I think they're LiPos, but I haven't uncased them. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to know for sure. Just going to stick that back on there, kind of like it was. Since this battery is practically at zero already, I don't think we've got to worry too much about short circuiting. But yeah, um, that's that's uh, that's rather interesting. So as I was saying, um, I got another battery up here that is a uh, it's actually an older camcorder battery. And if you look carefully at it. So here's a here's a good reference example. Now I don't know if this is the same exact battery. It's not. It's definitely not because um. This is a Kodak KLIC 7004, but it's also the same as an MP50. Let's see if you look at them, they're practically the same format of battery cell or battery pack rather. But 
if you look carefully at this one, you may see how this one is flat on both sides, and this one will fit into the camera and work just fine. Um, however, this one, if you look carefully at the sides of it, you may notice a little bit of a bulge in it. This battery will not fit in the camera. Just curious to see what the voltage is on it. It's showing it's showing dead zero, so apparently the the protection circuit has locked it out. So I got another example, I think, around here somewhere. Yeah, here we are. So this is another one. And this one isn't really all that bad, but I mean it isn't exactly flat. Now this this battery I know the camera had sat for a long period of time with never being used. And This battery pack does not have that many cycles on either because the camera was hardly ever used. I remember getting the camera brand new as it was absolutely a piece of garbage. Got it in late 2010, early 2011. Let's see what the voltage on this one is. Still has 3.77 on it, so it's not dead. I mean, it's it's a, it's still it's a still a, it's still a working battery. But yeah, that's a couple of examples there. And if you're just for the heck of it, here is another. Um, this is another lipo cell. This came out of one of those uh, sports cam batteries. And by sports cam, I mean SJ4000, SJ9000 knockoff. So, it came out of more or less this little package here. This is, act, this is actually the casing this little cell came out of. And this is a uh, this is a genuine, not a, not a SJ cam genuine, but it's a genuine battery. It's uh, It actually does the rated capacity of 1050 milliamp hours, unlike... This one, which was stamped for 900, but only did 200. Which 200 milliamp hours seems about right for this little bit, this little bitty lipo cell. So, I thought that was pretty interesting. I figured I'd make a little video about it. So, this is one of the things that can happen with uh, lipo batteries, and why I don't much care for them. Um, I still tend to prefer the 18650. A lot of laptops are going away from that in favor of internal LiPo cells. And considering what I've seen happen to uh, to laptops, I'm not really sure about that. It, it, that's a really a good idea, <laughs> to be honest. And also, the amount of fires I've seen from RC car batteries, which use uh, LiPo cells, not very comforting either. So yeah, this is, this is more this is more of a mild example of a lipo cell failure. This is a a slow short, and it can happen with it. This is not something that just happens with lipo cells. It can also happen with traditional 18650s as well. But I still think lipos are more susceptible to it due to their fragile nature. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that's it for this video, but don't forget there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel, and also don't forget to tick the bell so that way you'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, but if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat interesting stuff. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.